Hello and welcome everybody. It's KB here and uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install FedOS 14 on any PC or laptop. For those people who don't know what FedOS is, FedOS is a Chrome OS fork because official Chrome OS is not available for laptops or PCs. So thanks to FedOS we can enjoy Chrome OS on any PC or laptop. So now let's begin. Okay, so I will put a link in the description for this official website of FedOS. You can go here and once you're here, just click on this download button or icon and it will bring you here. I know official site looks all funky and fancy, but once you click on that download button, you will be landed here. FedOS for PC, you can download it for PC. FedOS for VMware, you can also download for VMware. Actually, I will make a video on how to install it on VMware because it, there is a installation method change. So yeah, wait for that video. And uh, FedOS for you, you can download FedOS for some specific devices like Microsoft Surfaces, a Raspberry Pi, Google Chromebooks, you know, whatnot. So if you have one of these devices, you can also install FedOS for them too. So we are gonna install the FedOS for PC today. So go to FedOS for PC and select one of these options. So if you have an Intel third gen processor to eighth gen, you're gonna have to select the first option. But if you have an Intel processor, which is ninth gen or above ninth gen to 11th gen, you're gonna have to select the second option. So the laptop that I'm gonna install FedOS on is actually i7 8th gen. So we're gonna have to select the first option. But if your Intel processor is ninth gen or above, you're gonna have to select this second option. For AMD users, there is no version for you guys, I'm sorry, but they say coming soon. So whenever there is a AMD version of FedOS, I will make a video on that too. So let's begin. I have Intel i7 8th gen. So I'm gonna select the first option. And after that, we have multiple download links. We can use any of these links to download the FedOS. Latest one is FedOS 14, okay? So I'm gonna download Mirror 2, just like that, and let the FedOS download. I have actually downloaded it already. So once you have downloaded, you will see in your downloads folder, okay? So now we need to make a bootable USB flash drive. So make sure that you have a bootable USB flash drive and plug that USB flash drive to your PC. And to make a bootable USB drive, we are going to use Balena Etcher or Etcher software. So yeah, it is available for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So I'm gonna download the portable version so I don't have to install this. So let it download. Once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder and you will see Belena Etcher if you're using Windows, okay? So double click to run it, just like that. And it's gonna open something like this, okay? First, we need to select the file, flash from file. Click on that and go to downloads folder and select the uh, FedOS file that you downloaded, okay? Select that, hit open. And after that, click on select target. And here you need to select your USB flash drive that you have inserted, okay? So I have only one USB flash drive, which is this one, 32 gigs. Okay, I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna hit select. And now I'm just gonna click on flash and we are going to wait till this flashes the FedOS onto our USB flash drive. It's gonna take one, two or five minutes. Okay, so just wait until it finishes. All right, we are almost done. It's 99% and it's gonna validate the files. Don't skip it, let it finish its work. Uh, once it says successful everything with no error, then we will be ready to install our FedOS or Chrome OS onto our PC and just for the info, this is like the probably the easiest way to install Chrome OS uh, with Google Play Store, 
Android app support and everything. So, I mean, if you have watched my videos on FadeOS, FadeOS is really good. Yeah, I like it. So validation is also finished. It says finishing and hopefully we don't get any error. Yeah, we don't get any error. Okay, so now we can close this out. Now, give me a second. I'm gonna install this on my laptop. So see you in a second. Let me prepare my laptop for this. All right, welcome back again. So I'm here with my laptop and I'm gonna install Chrome OS or Fade OS into it, okay? So first you need to insert your USB flash drive that you just created, okay? To your laptop or PC where you want to install a Chrome OS, okay? And then you need to boot into boot menu okay so to boot into boot menu you have to hit uh, f12 when you're booting when your computer is booting so actually it's a dell laptop it's a f12 for it uh, but you know different laptops brands or different motherboards have their own key the most common key is f12 you can also do the google search i don't need to explain you guys how to find out your laptops or pcs uh, boot menu key you're very intelligent okay so boot your uh, pc or laptop into boot menu and after that select your usb flash drive that you just made the bootable usb drive okay so i have only one usb flash drive that is this 32 gigs you can see uh, and we're gonna select that and hit enter okay and it's gonna automatically load everything you don't have to touch here okay so just wait and you can see fade os is loaded okay so i'm just gonna wait till it loads the setup files and everything okay here we go it is ready so this is the startup now okay there is the sound too <laughs> now select your language and keyboard i'm gonna leave it to english and uh, actually let's zoom a little bit just like that okay hit okay and get started and here is the most important part you can try this before you install it or you can just straight install it so I have made a video on how to install FadeOS inside, from inside. There is an old video on it, but today I'm just gonna show you guys how to directly install it, okay? It's a, you know, FadeOS 14 brings easy to install uh, page, this one. This is a new feature of FadeOS, okay? So to install FadeOS onto your PC, select the first option and hit next, okay? And here we have multiple options. One is full disk installation, which will uh, format your disk and install uh, the FadeOS or Chrome OS onto it. Or you can do a multi-boot, dual boot, like you wanna dual boot with Windows 10, Windows 8, 7, and Chrome OS. So you can select the second option and you can dual boot. I'm gonna do a separate video for the dual boot, okay? So it's the same thing actually. If you have done a dual boot, uh, you just have to select the different partition and you'll be okay. So if you just want to install Chrome OS and you just want to use a Chrome OS, select the first option, full disk installation and click next. And after that, you need to select the disk. If you have multiple disks, you can select one of them, okay? So I have Windows installed in uh, my, this first disk, okay? This one is SSD and if I select this, it's gonna format the windows that I have inside. So that's what I want. I only want to install Chrome OS in it. So I'm gonna select the disk that I want to use. This is the SSD and I'm gonna hit install and we just wait. And what's happening there, like whatever is happening here while installing, it will give you the information on that little box. So this is like, possibly the easiest way to install Chrome OS onto any PC or laptop. This is really good. So now we're just gonna wait. So you can see it's installing something. So there is a command line going on. You don't have to do anything. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. That's all you can do, okay? So I'm gonna let it finish. After this, I think you don't have to do anything. Let it finish, 
and uh, yeah we're just gonna wait all right it took like two minutes yes so you can see it says finished and uh, installation is finished okay so now we need to shut down this remove your uh, usb flash drive once you shut down this i'm gonna shut down okay <laughs> i have to do this okay shut down this and remove your usb flash drive once it's shut down okay just remove it i just removed it okay and now turn on your computer okay uh, let me zoom in a little bit okay i think that's enough <laughs> and i have two mouse here which is giving me a trouble actually okay so there we have the dell logo if you see this uh, ignore this just let it go and here we're gonna enter the setup page the installation is completed now we just need to set up our account and everything okay so uh, hit ok choose your language and everything get started connect your uh, wi-fi okay i don't know if i remember my wi-fi password let me enter it quickly okay i do remember it okay <laughs> the wi-fi is connected okay it took some time now we need to agree to the terms and condition just like that and here is the really good part if you don't want to use any account uh, there you need a fedos account that you can just create i have a fedos account uh, okay uh, you can use your phone number to create a fedos account and uh, something like that okay so you can also use a local account yes so at the bottom you can see there is a browse as a guest use local account yeah uh, it's a chrome os with local account so i have an account but uh, just to show you guys that you can actually use a local account so i'm gonna use a local account just like that okay i'm gonna put kb okay i'm gonna put password uh, i don't know no i'm not gonna put, put password i'm just gonna oh actually i have to put the password i'm gonna put it simple and easy to remember password hit next and you're done yeah <laughs> You don't even have to use any account no google account but if you want to yes you can use a google account once you sign in with fedos account you can choose whether to use a fedos account or a google account that's that so now i'm going to show you guys some important stuffs here that is uh, how to install android apps okay actually android system comes pre-enabled you can install apk files and everything okay one thing will be missing that is the uh, google play store and everything so you can actually install google play store and everything very easily okay so let me just quickly show you go to the apps uh, section and uh, go to store okay and after that go to made by fedos okay click on that and after that go to configure open g apps okay this is application which will install google applications for us okay so you will have google play store and everything all right so let it install uh, it's gonna take like a few seconds i guess so it's installing yeah it's installed actually yeah it's installed now open the application uh, accept everything and let it load and after that we have an option to uninstall if you have installed a uh, g apps before but if you haven't then click on install option and after that click on next and hit install hit ok now it's gonna download and install g apps for you yeah pretty amazing right yeah we're just gonna wait so i can just show you guys that there is a google play store and everything so yeah okay uh, it says uh, the installation is completed now we need to reboot this actually to you know make it work so we're just gonna reboot our fade os or chrome os and after that we will be able to use all the google apps like google play store everything it's pretty cool 
yeah okay here we are and we are using the local account i love this i'm gonna log in hit enter and we're just gonna wait a little bit because the android file system isn't loaded yet okay so you can see slowly the google play store appeared and here we have the android system and play store should pin itself to the taskbar actually okay or shelf that's what they call it and uh, yeah now you can also sign in with the google account yay and you can also use local account it just a pretty amazing i mean not pretty amazing it just a amazing operating system in my opinion okay so here we have uh, let me focus so it's updating actually so yeah that's it enjoy the fade os on pc and there is the uh itachi he looking at me all the time i don't know why <laughs> so that's it hope you enjoyed it i don't want to waste any of your time but uh Hope this was helpful. And this is, uh, I mean, the probably the best and easy to install Chrome OS distro. And thank you for watching. And I will put link in the description for the official website. From there, you can get the Fade OS. And also for the Belena Etcher, you can go there, download it. And have fun with your new Chrome OS. And soon, our next video is going to be on how to install Chrome OS inside Windows OS. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.